let's see if we can piece together how the area model can help us develop a model for division called long division. Um, let's look at the first example, 64 divided by two. In the area model, remember, we're allowed to partition the rectangle based on place value. So let's remember that six means 60. So if I want to, I can partition and I can put the, the 60 and the four, since that's the, the original amount or the dividend, it goes on the inside. And we're dividing by the two. So the two would be our divisor, it would go out here. And basically what we do is we have to make this area model work. Remember that the, the edges multiplied together have to give me the inside of, or the area of the rectangle. So basically what we're asking ourselves is, is two times what will give me 60. Now remember with this trailing zero, I can just ignore the zero and just say, you know, two times what gives me six. That would be like two, four, six. That would be three twos to get six. So two times three is gonna give me six. But to get 60, I need that trailing zero there. So that would be 30. So two times 30 is gonna give me the 60. And then I move to figure out what's gonna happen over here. And that is, you know, two times what is gonna give me four. Well, two times two is gonna give me four. So this edge here becomes the answer to our division problem. So this 30 plus two becomes the answer. So 64 divided by two ends up being 32. And if we check it, you know, 32 times two should give me back to 64. So if I wanted to check that, 32 times two, two times two is four, two times three is six, and that does give me 64. So that does check out. So the area model starts to take a look at what we call the long division symbol. So this is my division symbol. The dividend, the original number goes on the inside. So again, I can go like a 60 plus a four, break it apart by place value to start with. And then this two is my divisor. And what I start to do is I just try to figure out, you know, two times what is gonna give me this 60. Remember, I, I can ignore the zero and just say, well, two times what gives me six? And again, that's three twos gives me six. But to get 60, I need to bring that trailing zero back in there. So two times 30 does give me my 60. And then we have to add then and then ask ourselves, you know, two times what is going to give me this four? So two times two is going to give me this four. So 30 plus two ends up being then 32. So our answer, our quotient becomes then this 32. So this is going to start to become what we call our, our long division model. So let's look at um, another division problem, 78 divided by 2. So when we do this, we can break it apart by place value. And we have this 70 plus this 8. So that's going to be the inside, and I'm going to break it apart using place value. And the two is going to be our edge. So what we ask ourselves is, you know, two times what gives me 70? Well, when I think of that, you know, it's like I, I focus on the seven. It's like, you know, two, four, six, eight. You know, two times a whole number does not actually give me seven. But the closest thing I can do without going over is actually the three. So what we do in this problem here is we actually get close to the 70. And we're gonna use the three here. And two times three gives me six. But to get close to 70, I still need that trailing zero. So two times three is gonna give me 60. But notice that's not the full area. So what we do is we put the 60 underneath and we have to figure out how much is left over. So we subtract that off. So 60 minus 70 gives me this 10 left over. And what we do is we move this over here to the new box since we've already done this. So I add the 10 to the 18 or to the eight and I get 18. So 18 becomes our, our new inside number. And what we do then is ask ourselves, you know, two times what gets to be close to 18? Well, two, four, six, eight, 10, 
12, 14, 16, 18, that's going to be nine twos is 18. So that's going to be then a nine here. If we add those together, that's going to give me my full edge or my quotient. So 78 divided by two ends up being what we call then this, this 39. And so what we end up doing then is as we move forward here, instead of breaking the place value apart, we actually just put the 78 down. We bring the two here. And notice that instead of saying, you know, two goes into 70, we just say, how many twos does it take to get seven? Well, two times seven is going to be three. That's like three tens. That's our, that's like our 30. That's our place value thinking. Three times two is only six though. So we have to figure out how much is left over. So we put that underneath there and we figure out how much is left over. Well, seven minus six becomes then one left over. And what we do is we just slide this eight down next to it because we have to do a whole new problem. So now we have to go, well, how many twos does it take to get 18? Well, two times nine is gonna be that 18. So we put the nine in the ones place. So nine times two is 18. So there's nothing left over. So that's what we mean goes into it evenly. So that's how this is even cleaner. Two times 39 is gonna give me this 78. So we can double check it. Does 39, does that quotient times the two, the divisor, does that get me back to the dividend? Well, two times nine is 18. So remember, we just bring down the ones place and bring the, 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 uh, bring the eight down to the ones place and we bring the one over to the tens place. So that's two times three tens which is six tens plus one more 10 makes then the 78. So we kind of see that if you go backwards, 39 times two does get back to the 70. So it starts to check out. So this long division model is starting to appear because the area model starts to have these little remainders and stuff in it. So we're gonna look at a few more examples like that.